Howdy everyone, it's me once again, the one and only Killer Dan. And today, I figured I would review another Asian film, of course you can say. And yeah, might as well do this, since I like reviewing old movies anyway. And yeah, another reason for it's Kung Fu, of course. It's a uh, low budget, obscured, but here, anyway, it's this one. Yep. And just so you know, folks, I'm talking about the original version of this movie. Just so you know. So yeah, it's subtitled, but I've watched it anyway. But yeah, I'm often talking about Asian stuff anyway, to begin with. And I feel like I don't do that enough, really. If I'm going to be up front with you guys. So yeah, in some ways, I'm using this as an excuse to talk about uh, Asian cinema. Yes, this is a Taiwanese film, but still counts as Asian. It's obscured, it's low budget. And it came out a long time ago, so it counts. I like talking about this old stuff anyway. Definitely better, a lot better than a lot of the more recent Hollywood films. Yeah, I know that's something I often complain about on this channel. The more modern day stuff, I just no, I don't. I don't like it. The more modern stuff, day stuff that they made over the years, just feel like. They don't got the same feel, the same charm, like the old school stuff. I don't know, maybe it's just me, I guess. But maybe I'm just being a purist here, or whatever. Yes, I do realize that this may not be everybody's cup of tea, since, yeah, this movie's old, real old. And as a result... You might just push this to a side because it's not modern enough or whatever. Ugh. Anyway, as usual, I have to talk about the plot, so here we go, folks. Because uh, I could describe this as a revenge story kind of a thing. Because there is this uh, really skilled fighter who is seeking revenge against the Black Dragon clan. And, but yeah. So, yeah, that's what's going on, of course. And it's kind of a movie. This man is thirsty for revenge, of course. He arrives in this um, town controlled by the Black Dragon Gang. This man starts uh, pretty much eliminating the key members of the said gang in a wave of violent and bloody fights. So, yeah, they can be pretty blue brutal in their own little way. The entire thing. Anyway, the thing is that there was also this special government agent whom is also after the gang's boss and teams up with this individual, the main character, I guess you can say, and you know, to smash the gang and bring the boss guy, the boss dude, to justice. So they're basically out to, you know, kick his ass, so to speak. Well, someone has to do it. So, uh, someone has to pretty much do something, of course, and uh, bring him down and whatnot, obviously. But anyway, uh, the film also has this um, kind of, you know, crazy fight scenes, martial art films kind of a thing going on, of course. And that's what they want. The fight scenes are, of course, pretty well done. Of course, it's a kung fu film, but... Of course, the fight scenes going to have to, you know, shine through or whatnot. But the thing is that after taking out one of the Black Dragon's main fighters and, not, and leaving uh, his, I um, guess, his, 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 what he has to do, the, um, the Black Dragon gang and their leader pretty much have to do something. Of course, they know they have trouble heading their way. So of course something must be done about this guy. Of course and whatnot. So anyway, but yeah. And uh, I can say that yeah the overall film is okay, pretty straightforward. It's fairly simple. But that in itself doesn't necessarily have to be a bad thing per se. Of course. It's fast paced. 
And I did like the fast pace, so I, didn't, I wasn't really bored throughout the entire thing. So I take that as a good thing, of course. But yeah, all in all, I like this one, obviously. And I know you can get in, you can get these movies, but they're gonna be really difficult to do. I'm getting the unedited versions, and yeah, but they're gonna be paying the ass, of course. Unfortunately, a pain in the ass to actually get to obtain. And you'd be lucky if you can find any of these types of movies unedited, untouched in any streaming services. So if you can't find this on DVD or Blu ray, you can try the st streaming services if possible. So if you don't give this film a shot, just throw it out there, folks. I suggest it. You can try to do that. But anyway, I can say that this was definitely an enjoyable treat, of course. And. It was uh, it was definitely well made. It's uh, even though it comes to these martial art films, I'm getting kind of tired of this whole revenge thing plot because that kind of a story was repeated so 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 many times. So again, having having a revenge story here. Ugh. I mean, I still liked it. Don't get me wrong. I'm just saying it's been recycled too many times. Still enjoyed it nonetheless. Anyway, I'll give this film an overall rating of a 7.1 out of 10. It gets a 7.1 out of 10 for me. And as always, thanks for watching and take care. Until next time, see ya. Oh yeah, later. Yes, sirree, folks. Woohoo! Yeah. Later.